I'm very proud for my crew because it's been a long time coming. We've sacrificed a lot being away from our families and friends for training. It's going to be one of the first commercial wind farms generating energy offshore for New York. I worked in retail and law for a long time and it just didn't feel fulfilling. And after I had my daughter, uh, I want to leave this world in a better place for her. I got more gloves, my carabiners. Pretty cool, right? Up and then turn. See? I was driving out to California and we came over the mountains and then all of a sudden I just saw like hundreds of turbines and I thought it was pretty cool looking. I just started looking into it and I found out that we were gonna be starting offshore wind here in New York. The need for energy in New York is dire. And we really feel it out here in Montauk. The population goes from about 4,000 year-round residents to about 40,000 in the summertime. We have all sorts of things that happen, from brownouts to legacy diesel generators. It's a very unsustainable situation. When I heard about the Block Island Wind Farm, which is right off the lighthouse, uh, I was very excited because I realized that the future was now. And then when I heard that we were going to get our own wind farm off Montauk, 35 miles offshore, so we won't be able to see that wind farm, I got super excited. New York is leading the way, and I couldn't be more proud or happy. The demand for electric now is more than ever, so to be able to help out your local community to bump up the power grid, it's a bit of an accomplishment, something that I get to tell my kids or brag at at barbecues. I've been able to essentially work in Long Island, for Long Island, my whole life. It's a really cool day today to see the cable being pulled, the lead up to it, the excavation, the trenching through the streets, the scheduling, the installation of manholes, all the trades having to work together just to accomplish the tasks that get us to this point. It's, it's a great accomplishment for the crews, for Orsted, Eversource, and Hogland Group. It's good to see renewable energy will be utilized within my community for my friends, my family, beneficial for all of us, you know what I mean? I grew up in Southampton on the beach. I know all the roads to take. I know all the places. I know all the people. Ever since I was a little girl, I was always doing projects with my hands. I was in college and the Freedom Tower was going up. I would watch these guys setting seals. And I was like, I want to do that. I can do that. Now, I'm a local 361 iron worker. We put the bones of the body together. The monopile would go in, and then we would install the working platform and the insides of the monopile. I think it's pretty cool to know that I'm going to be powering hospitals, schools, for a project I worked on. I'm feeling relieved and excited. I grew up in a small town in Colorado, the polar opposite of where I am now. The literal edge of the land in one of the most dense parts of America. We have just finished installing the OSS and we're currently in the process of installing the final monopiles for the turbines. My role is making sure that within my scope, every electrical thing is installed correctly and functioning before we actually start energization. So this is really a dream come true for me. If you told me two years ago even that I would be here building offshore wind turbines, I would have been in shocked disbelief. We are on the Jill, the vessel that will house us and all the people that are gonna be working on the OSS, the offshore substation over there. We're installing the uh, foundations that the turbines themselves will go on.
Today we're loading out the uh, first tower with blades, nacelle, and the tower sections. The barge is going to take the tower sections out. They're going to build it out in the ocean. And then they're going to spin for 500 hours before it gets handed over to me and the rest of our crew. Any and every trade within the community was involved. Linemen, electricians, laborers, operating engineers, every tradesman, local, had a part of it. One of the best accomplishments is the fact that you don't know we were there. The only way that people would know that we were here is this round man old cover right here. That's, that's it. All the conduits are buried, everything's done, the roads are restored, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool when you're driving your car and you go, I worked on that bridge. I built that school. Things that you build end up becoming a part of our island. I'm very excited that South Fork Wind is finally up and running. With these turbines spinning behind me, it's quite a sight to see. And as a New Yorker, I'm very proud to be a part of this project and have it right here in our backyard. I can't believe this day is here. I'm so excited. This is ushering in a whole new era of sustainability for our community and for New York. It's great.